What is going on guys? Opulent Vision back again with another one of these Road to Sub 20 videos. I've just got to say, I don't know what happened this week. You guys will kind of see in my solves here, but two weeks in a row, I've just been everywhere on solves. I'll get a 15 second solve and then the next one will be like 29 seconds. Then we'll get an 18 second solve and so on and so forth. And I have no clue what's happening. I've almost boiled it down. I think something happened with my cube, like the centers started loosening up, or maybe I just need to wipe it out and relube it, um, because I've been getting a lot more catching with this cube, and I don't know if it's related to the issues I'm having solving or something completely separate. So we will uh, go ahead and do that for next week and see if that helps anything, but I'm really not sure. Maybe it was just some kind of fluke of a week twice in a row. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into the Q&A. So if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments of today's video. This one I had to pre-record. I'll be gone later in the week, and so I had to record this Wednesday, which means I only had a few questions that we could talk about, um, which unfortunately means we have six questions we can talk about. But let's go ahead and see how far in depth we could get. Hamdan19852 says... My question is, do you go to any cubing competitions? If you are going to a cubing competition, can you make a cubing vlog? Now, that's something I've been thinking about for a while. I think it would be phenomenal to go ahead and make a cubing vlog. I think it would be really cool to just kind of document the experience of a cubing competition and kind of what it's like. Because I know a lot of my subscribers don't go to competitions or they haven't been one in a... Been, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been to one in a long time. And so I think it'd be really cool to just kind of document the experience. So if people wanted to like see what it's like going to a competition, they can kind of live that through me. Um, one thing that um, I really wanted to talk to you guys about regarding that is I had a little bit of an incident maybe 10 years ago um, on YouTube. And I talked about this in the last episode a little bit, but we'll cover it here again in case you missed it. But there's this YouTuber named Sayo the King. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard of this guy. But he is kind of from the general area where I used to live. And so the one cubing competition in that area that they had uh, ever, so a lot of people showed up to it. And um, he also showed up to this competition. And this competition was something that I was filming at. Um, it was for my old channel, called Mystic Cubing, which this channel used to be. Um, I know I have like one or two old videos up from those days, but I form or sorry, I filmed this compilation of like solves of like shots of the room. It made like a really artsy kind of like video about the competition. Um, artsy is not the word, but more like cinematic. And the Sio the King guy comments on my video like a week after it came out Someone must have told him something about it, but he was actually in the background of one of my shots. I think it was like a shot like of the full room to just see how many people like were there. And he saw himself like two pixels in the corner and he decides to leave this pretty nasty hate comment asking for the video to be taken down because he didn't want to be like in the video. So, I mean, it, it kind of like made me mad. I'm like, I don't see why you can get mad over this but it's frustrating to me that you're asking me to take down my hard work over such a small inconvenience unfortunately i did take out down the video because you know if i really felt that way about someone else i'd want them to do the same for me so it's kind of more like a respect thing but again it was kind of sad to i mean i worked really really hard on that video but um yeah so that's kind of my issue with going to cubing competitions to film is I'm not sure if the situation would ever happen again, but it was more like, you know, if someone doesn't want to be filmed and they end up in my video, you know, I'm kind of at fault for that. So I don't know. It's, it's kind of a tough mix of both worlds. Maybe it's something where I just vlog and be pretty careful about it, but nevertheless, we will move on to the next question. I'll let you guys talk about that in the comments. The SCP Nerd 
asks two questions today. He says, why do you main the dolphin cube? And then the second question, how do you start your YouTube channel? So the uh, dolphin cube, I actually just, I guess, accidentally bought it. I just saw it came out and it was new um, on Speed Cube Shop's website. Not very many people had made reviews of the cube. And so I was like, you know, I've got to pick that up, right? As you do, as you do. Get the cube and it's, I guess, it, I think it's a little bit larger than the normal 3x3 three three is why I like it so much. But it has a lot better turning compared to what I've had in the past. I turn very, very hard. And a lot of cubes don't do well with that. So this cube did. And so it's my main. So I don't really have too much reasoning beyond that. But second question, how did you start your YouTube channel? Um, I went to youtube.com slash accounts and start an account, and then you can upload videos. Not too hard. Um, if you're asking why did I start it, which I know another question here is, I just really like filming videos, editing, and collaborating with you guys. And so I've just had a blast making videos, and that was like my whole purpose for having this channel is just like putting myself back into the Cuban community and trying to make content, trying to pay, make people smile. And so I, I found a lot of joy in that, and that's why I – do YouTube. Uh, AWR Cubing had a similar question. What made you start your YouTube channel? I'll go ahead and say that uh, I answered that in the last one pretty thoroughly. So a few more questions here before the video is over. Uh, Clock Solver says, dang, that's a big scratch on your cube. I see you've gotten slightly better finger tricks. Proud of you. I appreciate you. I listen to all you guys' solve critiques in the comments. Sometimes I don't respond. Sometimes I do. But I do listen to all the critiques. So um, if you do have any critiques ever, um, feel free to leave them. Uh, he's asking about the big scratch on my cube. I don't know if I've answered this recently, but I guess I had a really, really bad solve a few days ago. I don't know what got into me, but I had my cube in my hand and I just squeezed it so hard. I didn't think anything would happen, but the whole corner like exploded and like broke the corner piece. So it was more of like the caps on the piece got broken, but either way, um, I'm sitting here with a broken cube. So I, I take a, like a heat gun and heat up the corner piece and kind of make them flat again. And then, uh, I like super glue them all together in the corner and like, you wouldn't know the difference. It works the exact same but it's got like that big white scratch on one of the corner pieces which is kind of unfortunate if you guys are watching the video right now um i am solving my i think it's called the twist cube or tornado cube just for fun little challenge of the day to see uh what time I, type of times i can get on it so pretty fun um with that being said i've got one t time for one more question so uh bloxy sucks at Roblox asks, what is your hardest puzzle? That's a loaded question. Um, but I think there's, oh man, I struggle because there's, you can either have hard, like takes a long time or hard, impossible to solve. If it's impossible to solve, I'd say either my ghost cube or my puppet cube are kind of two of the cubes that are really hard. If it's like longest to solve, I'd say my 10 by 10. But I have a blast solving that. So either way, love all the cubes. With that, have a good one, guys. Peace.